Hey, it's Jimmy Sexton, founder and CEO of Esquire Group. I'm walking through Vienna, Austria here. We're starting to feel a bit like spring, and it got me thinking about uh, Americans abroad who are self-employed. And one of the thoughts that I had was that most Americans abroad are familiar with the concept of the foreign earned income exclusion, the foreign tax credit. Basically, the foreign earned income exclusion is a U.S. tax provision where you can exempt a certain amount of foreign earned income from U.S. income taxes. And the foreign tax credit uh, is a credit against your U.S. income taxes for foreign income taxes paid. When it comes to self-employed individuals, however, there's two types of tax. There's the U.S. income tax, and then there's also the U.S. self-employment tax. And the U.S. self-employment tax is basically your Social Security and Medicare taxes. When you're an employee, 50% of these taxes are withheld from the employee's paycheck and paid by the employee, and the other 50% are paid by the employer. Those two halves added up together are 15.3%, and because when you're self-employed, you're both the employer and the employee, you get to pay both halves. What a lot of Americans abroad who are self-employed don't realize is that the foreign earned income exclusion cannot be used to exclude uh, income from self-employment taxes, and the foreign tax credit can't be used to offset self-employment taxes. So as an American who's self-employed abroad, even if you owe no U.S. income taxes due to the self, uh, sorry, due to the foreign earned income exclusion of the foreign tax credit, you still are going to be liable to self-employment tax on your self-employment income at 15.3%. The only way to get out of that is if the country in which you're self-employed has what's called a totalization agreement with the United States. If a totalization agreement exists between the country where you're resident and where you earned your foreign self-employment income, then you can request what's called a certificate of coverage from that country's Social Security Administration. If you submit that certificate of coverage with your U.S. income tax return, you'd be exempted from having to pay the U.S. self-employment income. Another thing to be careful of is there are different rules for depreciation and the deduction of meals and entertainment and things of that nature uh, for uh, foreign earned income and, uh, or sorry, foreign self-employment income. And you wanna be very aware of those when doing your US tax return. Anyway, I hope you found this vlog useful. We'll see you next time.